Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another very exciting video. I'm not one for New Year's resolutions. The thing about New Year's resolutions. I'm just not that person that goes, ooh, January 1st. I need to come up with a New Year's resolution because this is the only time of year that society expects me to achieve something. If there's something in your life you want to achieve, don't wait for the 1st of January every year to do it. And being a self-improvement guy, I've always got my own goals that I'm always looking to achieve. Doesn't matter what time of the year it is, I've got goals for that time of year. I don't just go, January 1st is coming, I need to come up with an idea of how to improve. Having said all that, it's time to announce my New Year's resolution. These are the goals for my YouTube channel for the year 2021. I'm proud of the amount of videos I've made this year. In the current juncture in time, I have made 59 videos. So that's at least one video per week. However, it wasn't consistent. I know from September all the way up to the new console launch, I didn't really post much. Over the past month, I've been uploading three videos a week. And having said that, it is about quality and not quantity. So I would like to continue this theme of having one video per week. So next year's goal is to make 52 videos. At the beginning of the last month, December 2020, my goal was to hit 200 subscribers. I was sitting at 142 and I was thinking, how on earth am I going to do this? I am currently sitting at 218 subscribers and that's a big tick in my books. So that's that mission accomplished. But what do I aim for next year? I like to split up my goals into three separate tiers. A moon landing goal, a realistic goal, and a pass mark. So my moon landing goal for next year is to have 10,000 subscribers. Got no idea how that's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take more than just a year to get there. But 1,000 subscribers, that's feasible, at least in my opinion. But the pass mark for me will be 500 subscribers. If I can get to 218 subscribers in one year, I'm sure I can get to 500 next year. But for me, as I said, this is gonna be my bare minimum standard for success. And anything below 500 subscribers will be a total failure at least in my mind. My next goal is to diversify the form of content that I'm putting out. I started off the year making retro video game reviews, to modern gaming reviews, to pickups, to unboxings, and towards the end of the year, I've been making a lot of opinion pieces. I like to bring my friends into my YouTube channel, have a bit of friendly competition, a bit of banter, just a bit of fun to share with you guys. I'd also like to test out some longer forms of content. I'd like to test out the waters in the area of podcasting. I like to work out a workflow or a formula, if you will, for a podcast so that if I ever get to a stage where people are willing to listen to me for over an hour, I will be ready to create that type of content. I'd also like to do a Let's Play. Having said that, I literally just tried to do it with Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't think that particular game is going to work for me in terms of Let's Play, but something that is a much shorter experience. Yeah, I'm going to try that. So that's the next New Year's resolution. Experiment with new types of content. So yeah, that's my New Year's resolution for my YouTube channel. What do you guys think about New Year's resolutions? Are they the failure of the self-improvement universe? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, that's it for me. See ya.